Alright guys, I got another uh, key uh, thing for you. You guys don't understand a term in the game. You don't have to ask people. What you can instead do is type slash glossary slash g-o-l-o-s-s-a-r-y and put in a term. For instance, AC, a term we've already covered. Armor class, a number representing a creature's ability to blah 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 blah. It tells you everything you need to know. Uh, so that'll give you a very, that can give you at least an idea of what it is, and then you're not, uh, completely blind as to what any term in the game means. So, uh, keep that in mind, guys, as you go through. Before I get much further in, I'd like to cover one thing, which is a key bind I tend to use myself that I think everyone should use. Um, note, first of all, I've moved from strafing up to, uh, the turning. I've turned to strafing, uh, your, my DNA keys. That's a personal preference, and then my turns to E and Q, but I normally turn use the with the mouse, um, because if it gets laggy, the mouse is more accurate. And strafing, i found to have a lot of uses. Examine. That's a good key bind to, to know what it does. Um, that'll allow you to see what a creature is, if it's a, for instance, um, if it's a reptilian, monstrous humanoid, it gives you some stats on the creature. Not really stats, but some key information. Interact, this is the one I wanted to cover. By clicking, by pressing R, it allows you to interact with something. So, come up, hopefully this has something in it and I can show you. Nope. Okay, this one maybe? Come on guys, give me something to work with here. Alright, so it's selected. I'm not clicking on it, I just click R, boom, it's picked up. It's a lot faster, it makes it worth picking up those little copper grants and such because you're not really taking the time to, f to grab it. You're just getting it to be the current selectable and then you click R. So that's a little useful, that's a little useful tip. One added thing, if you guys are new to uh, MMOs, or new specifically just to DDO really, uh, these tips over here can give you some uh, help. They keep coming up, there's about a thousand of them. If you ever want to get rid of them, you can go to your options menu, UI settings, it's up at the top, don't show hints. Also, Key one, the South Nast, disable profanity filter. Disable chat profanity filter. Very useful. Get used. Look at all of these options though, because they're all very useful and can all provide you with some good uh, knowledge. All right. So one of the first game mechanics that you encounter that isn't well explained. It, um, because they've explained jumping and climbing ladders, but that's not a very key game mechanic. Swimming, you'll have to do this occasionally. So what happens is after your first big fight, you need to get a key, which is down in the water here. What you do is you, when you point your, um, vision downward, uh, you can break the water, and then basically you can move in three dimensions based on when you, uh... Now, that is a very key uh, f comment. I did that. I'd like to say that I did that on purpose, but I couldn't. For some reason, I was having issues grabbing the key. Um, basically, you have a breath meter, and that's based on your swim skill. If you're wearing armor, if you're using a shield, if you're uh, carrying a lot of crap around with you, that all affects your ability to swim and how long until your breath bar runs out. After your breath bar runs out, you start taking damage. Uh, also, how fast you take damage is based on that same mechanic. So, that was embarrassing, but yeah. That, that perfectly exemplifies how if you can't do what you're doing, you can get screwed up. 
Uh, rest shrines, these are going to be a very, very big uh, consideration. I've had a lot of people ask questions about them in Corthos. <sighs> they'll, they'll ask, you know, where do, uh, how do I regain my HP? Where do I rest? Um, so here's the thing. Let's look over here at the rest shrine thing. And as it says, rest shrines uh, will take extra time. Uh, we'll restore hit points and spell points, and we'll take five minutes to recharge. Dungeons and higher difficulty settings take longer. Those settings are solo, five minutes. Normal, 15 minutes. Hard and elite, never. So if you're doing on hard and elite, don't just rest because there's a rest shrine. Rest because you run out of spell points. Or rest because you're ne you need health. Um, or your clickies, which I'll get to later. Uh, clickies are spells that are on equipment. So, having done this, uh, rest shrines and taverns are the only places you will be able to rest. Uh, you can, as you can see up here, prepare spells. You also, because, and this is also what you can do in taverns, um, have that same thing. You can prepare your spells. Uh, it's the only place you regain you can regain hit points and spell points, or it's the only place you can rest and regain those things, unless you have some passive regeneration. Res shrines. When your soul stone is picked up, or if you've got someone's soul stone, come to a res shrine, and what will happen is they can click on the res shrine and resurrect. If you have a hireling, uh, they will have a use button in their bar. When you get a hireling, a little bar comes up, and you can. Uh, use the use button and what they will do by targeting it so you click on it target it click the use button and it goes ahead and uh, and he uses it and suddenly boom your resurrection shrine you know that's how you get people rezzed uh, those are that's very important please remember that taverns and taverns you can also do that taverns uh, allow you to have a high uh, regenerate, and you can get even faster using Tyburn food. Now, here's a trap. Um, if you're a rogue, uh, Jeets will offer for you to disarm the trap. Since I'm not, he will tell you that he is the only one, that rogues are the only ones that can uh, do this. And that's true. Unless you've gone into level in rogue, you will not be able to do traps or locks. That is something they added. Uh, other classes got that, got those as uh, cross-class skills before, but no one does unless you've gotten a level on rogue. If you've gotten a level on rogue, they become cross-class skills for you. So that's a key factor to remember when you're looking at, uh, you know, how do I open doors? How do I disarm traps? Need a rogue, or there's a wizard spell called knock that does the unlocking part, but not the trap part. So, uh, alright, two more mechanics, and I have to kind of get through them quickly, because I'd like to not have, actually, two more mechanics, three more mechanics, uh, but they're going to take a little bit, um, so I probably want to go ahead and give them to you in a new video based on my time. So I will add a part three to this video, come look for it, I'll see you guys next time.